Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today it's a little bit different. We're still at the game as ASU one wouldn't take on Salford City at Plough Lane. But today it's going to be a little bit different of a video. Um, we're in hospitality. My um, family's business, mostly my dad's business, but family's business is the programme sponsor for today's game against Salford. So I'm going to take you through what it's like to be in hospitality at ASU Wimbledon, um, what's in store. The rooms are in a box on the halfway line, which is just brilliant. You're going to get a really good view of the ground. Um, we're going to go through what food is like and pretty much anything like that. May hopefully get some interviews with some people up in hospitality. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be the video. And then we'll get some clips of the game. Um, of the atmosphere and some of the goals if I can catch them but yeah just going to go through what's in store for hospitality and yeah remember, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel and let's get up to Plough Lane. When we arrived in hospitality, we were shown up, given our wristbands, and those are just the amount of options that you can have in hospitality. So many boxes, lounges. We're in box five, which I show here, a really massive space. I believe we had around 20, 23 people in the room. So many seats, a TV, and so much, so many pictures of Wimbledon memories from past, present. Um, we had a picture of Jack Curry, Vinnie Jones, Ayuba Sal, the greatest story in football. It just shows you how special Wimbledon is. Um, and the view of Plough Lane was absolutely incredible. Um, probably the best view um, of Plough Lane. If, if you want to have the perfect view of the game, this is where you want to be on the halfway line in the second tier in hospitality. Definitely the best view. Moving on to the food, loads of really good options. Maybe not the best video as half the food was gone, but chili con carne, pasta, chicken, and a pretty big wide um, variety of desserts as well. Really good options. And we had a big greetings from Hayden. After eating the food in the hospitality box, we took a trip down, down the stairs into the AFC Wimbledon Museum. So much Wimbledon memorabilia of past, present, uh, Vinnie Jones had so many photos in there of the playoff final, the FA Cup final, beating Luton in the playoffs as well. And then we took a trip down to the club shop as well, which was absolutely packed, which is so good to see. Went back up to Hospitality, looked at the lineups, a really, really, really positive lineup there. And I'm so glad that Wimbledon got the win. And then we made our way up to our seats and looked towards kickoff. It's about half an hour to kick off. Hospitality's been great. Food's been great. Just the overall service from everyone has been brilliant. The box has been good. Um, Hector, what have you made of hospitality? It's been quite good, isn't it? Oh, absolutely brilliant. Definitely again, 100%. Yeah, I agree with Hector. It's a great experience. If anyone can get down, pay the money, it's a really good experience. And you get an absolutely great view as well of the whole ground. Um, my score prediction today, well, just before I say it, there's not going to be as much um, footage of the game, but whenever someone scores or anything like that, we will do a little bit more clips and, and, and of the atmosphere as well. I'm going to go 2-1 to Wimbledon. Hector, what about you? Before I get my score prediction, yeah. I just want to say that is the best chilli con carne I've ever had. Honestly, so good. The best chilli con carne. Score prediction, spend it off. 1-0 Wimbledon. Well, there we go. Let's get to kick off. And now it was time for the AFC Wimbledon and Salford City players to walk out of the tunnel for the clash at Plough Lane of AFC Wimbledon versus Salford City. And it was 3 p.m. and ready for kickoff. The first half, there wasn't really much to show from both sides. Salford had six yellow cards, which was absolutely crazy to see. Kelly had a big chance down the right hand side, which was a really good chance, very unlucky. But that was really it for the first half. The ref blew his whistle for half time. But then Salford City got us underway for the second half. And then after this, Omar Bugle made it 1 0 to AFC Wimbledon, which was so good to see his 11th goal for the season. And now I will put a clip of his goal and some clips of the atmosphere after this goal. I 
think by this video it shows that Carl Robinson did not get a very positive reception um, back at Plough Lane as manager of Salford City. Used to be a franchise manager back in the day. But that was it. AFC Wimbledon beat Salford City 1-0. Puts us five points away from the playoffs. To be honest, three games left. You never, ever know what could happen if Wimbledon get another three wins in these last three games. Then it's all up to play for. After the game at the Man of the Match presentation, we went to one of the lounges, had a Man of the Match presentation with Joe Lewis, had a photo with him. By the way, how good is it to see Joe Lewis back from injury? Him and Ryan Johnson together has been so good in, mid in, in the defence. So good to see them back. And also, we got this. Definitely going to go up in my house. A great touch. And that is the end of the video of pretty much just showing you what hospitality can bring. It was a great day. The food was really good. The hospitality was good. The drink service was good. Everything was really positive. If you, if, if you, I would really recommend to do hospitality, to be honest. Um, it's a great experience, a great view as well behind us. You can see Johnny Jackson and, and Omar Bugle talking behind there. And Hector's doing some uh, funny things behind. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, the game, to be fair, was pretty boring, but we got the win. That's what counts. I mean, close to the playoffs. I don't think we'll get it. But um, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. I'd love to do it again. And yeah, thank you for watching. Come on, you dons.